So in this short video, I'm going to show you how to use the parent constraint tool uh, within Maya. Um, this here tool allows objects to be kind of connected together through animation. Uh, so what we have here is a simple and quick animation um, of our character uh, trying to grab onto the ball and then throw it up and down. Obviously, this isn't working at this time just because the parent constraint hasn't been issued yet. First thing that we want to do is we want to find um, basically the the time where Nasi should be grabbing the ball, and I would say it's frame 10. So there would be the first time Nasi should have full contact with the ball and where they should be both connected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab uh, Nasi's hand control point here, and I'm going to hold shift and grab the ball. I'm going to make sure I'm in animation mode here, the top left hand corner, and then I'm going to go constrain and parent. So now these two are connected, and we can just demonstrate that through our timeline. Okay, so the ball will basically follow Nasi's hand, but it's following it all the time. And this is where we have to add in a few more keyframes to change that. So the first one I want to add in is on frame 10 with the ball. Through this, I'm just going to make sure that I have my channel editor open. Okay. Um, and if I set the first keyframe, you'll notice something will add in here. Okay, and it's our blend parent. When that's set to zero, that means it does not follow Nasi's hand. But when it's set to one, it means it does. So on frame 10, it should be set to one. So I'm going to put one there, right click on it, and key that selected. So now it will follow Nasi's hand. But from frame nine to frame zero, we don't want it to be connected. So we press zero there. Right click, key that in. And now you'll see it kind of works pretty simply now where Nasi will reach his hand over and grab the ball. So that's the first section done. And it's working out pretty well. But we've got a few more to do where Nasi throws the ball up and then when he catches it again. So Similar to the first stage, I'm going to look on the timeline to see where Nasi would release the ball. So I would say 32 is where you'd actually release it. So on frame 31 then would be the last time you'd have it connected. So I'm going to just keyframe that in. So on 31, we've got a blend parent of a true. And then 32, we should keyframe this in, but change this to zero. So now it's going to be connected to this point, and then it's not going to be connected. So what we want to do then is animate the ball to frame, let's say, 37, where it will move up. And then I would say frame... Forty-one will be the last place where it's not connected. So frame forty-two. I put a one in there. And key that in. You'll see now we've got a complete animation where Nasi's grabbing the ball, throwing it up, and catching it again. 